welcome to On the Pitch. Great to have our weekly soccer show back here on the West Ohio Sports Network. We'll be joined by the Elida boys team shortly, but let's first take a look around Northwest Ohio, see what happened on the pitch. And we get started with an LCC Lehman Catholic Western Ohio Soccer League matchup at Spartan Stadium. This was on Thursday. T-Bird's off to a fast start. Five minutes in, Steven Tapplinger goes up or 90 from just outside the 18. LCC leads one to nothing. And the T-Bird's keeping the pressure on. Tapplinger to Jimmy Kutka, one-timer. Keeper Tim Buchter is there for the save. Now Lehman looking to tie things up. Trey Kerrigan into the box. Shoots, but Kyle Smith makes the diving stop and secures it. And then later in the half, John Henry France. He's got a free kick for Lehman. Smith up to the task on the bouncer. LCC wins a tight one, 2-1 to one over their WOSL rival. How about Collida girls game? Collida fans braving the rain on Friday at the start. Lady Cats taking on Fort Jennings. And they started quickly. Three minutes into the game, McKenna Ritzy creates some space, shoots, and scores. Just like that, it's one to nothing, Collida. A minute and a half later, Brittany Colley on a run down the left side. She buries it with the left foot, and the home team leads two to nothing. Fort Jennings looking to get on the board now. Brandy Caskill drops it off to Haley Young, but Morgan Kanapke shuffles over to make the save. Collida gets the victory on Pioneer Weekend, three to nothing over Fort Jennings. Let's finish up with some Western Buckeye League soccer. Wapakoneta taking on Kenton. They're tied at one on Thursday, 27 minutes to go in the second half. Oliver Lopez to Vinny De Silva in the box, and that's a goal. Redskins up two to one, and they were just getting warmed up. Off the free kick, Charles Kanat serves it in. Carson Garrity, the header, great execution there. It's another goal for the home team, and they lead three to one. Later, Lopez plays ahead for De Silva. Nice ball here. De Silva's tripped up. It's a yellow card and it draws a penalty kick. De Silva knows what to do with that. Finishes upper left hand corner. Wapak scores three times in less than five minutes. They go on to get the WBL victory. Six to one the final and that leads us nicely into our player of the week. It goes to Wapakoneta Redskin Alex Lousy. He scored a hat trick in the Redskins win over Bluffton on Tuesday having another really nice season for coach Rambin. And he is our player of the week on the pitch. Congrats to you, Alex. And now, speaking of the Western Buckeye League, we're ready to be joined by the Elida boys soccer team. We've got head coach Tom Thomas in his 12th season to my left. In the middle, it's Kyle Finnerty, senior goalie. And on the end there, Nathan Stewart, senior midfielder. Thanks for joining us, guys. Coach, let's start with you. Yeah. Elida, off to a really nice season so far. You got the win in the fall classic. How's the team been performing so far? Oh, well, thanks for having us, first off. Uh, so far, so good. We've been uh, doing some really good things. Worked hard in the preseason, and uh, yeah, we're just kind of getting in the mix of it right now. Kyle, as the goalie, a couple shutouts and on the season, both in the first two games in the Fall Classic. What did it mean to you to get that victory in those two games? Because that's a good field that you guys have there in the first couple games of the year. Oh, yeah, I was really nice to get those shutouts, but you know, I always got to give credit to the back line. They have really good uh, defense this year. You know, a lot of upperclassmen back there and a lot of experience. Nathan, how was the offseason for you? Did you guys do anything differently this year, or was it business as usual? Uh, well, this year we kind of took a different uh, leap into our physical and training and everything else like that. Uh, usually we go over to the track and do a lot of running, but this year it was mainly like on the ball, a lot, of, uh, a lot of training with the ball at our feet and everything, getting a lot of experience with that. It looks like it's paid off early on, Coach. Four and one overall, is that the correct record? That's correct. And then the one loss coming to Salina in the WBL, and mm -hmm. we know the Western Buckeye League is going to be competitive again. What does it mean to you to, to play in the WBL, and, and what are you looking for in those league games? What do you guys need to do? Uh, well, first and foremost, we need to be ready every single night. Uh, any team in the Western Buckeye League on the day can, can beat another team. So you've got to be focused. Uh, you know, league games are very important to us. And, you know, if, as long as we come out and we do what we want to and, and we're capable, um, we like our chances. Kyle, do you guys have a rival in the WBO or is it kind of whoever you're playing? Because every, everyone seems to be pretty good in terms of boys soccer. Our uh, league games are always really important, but, you know, we've always grown up and uh, the Shawnee game has always been the biggest one. We take a really good pride in that game. That mm -hmm. game's coming up on the 29th. The next two WBO games, though, Nathan, should be a pretty big challenge. You've got to go on the road at Wapak and then at St. Mary's. What do you guys need to do as a team to pick up wins in those games? Uh, basically, we just need to keep doing what we're doing. We're uh, starting to get a lot of, uh, a lot of our playments together and uh, just playing really good as a team. 
and we're playing really strong, winning a lot of balls, like 50-50 balls. Uh, if we just keep doing that and keep our possession up, I think we'll do really good against those teams. Coach, what do you think this year's biggest strength is for you, Lottie? You've been around the program for a while. What, what makes this team different? Uh, probably our senior leadership. We have nine seniors this year. Uh, they've really helped our, our younger guys coming up through the preseason. Uh, that's about what we have this year. We have our nine seniors, one junior, and then everybody else is freshman and sophomore. So just the leadership from them has uh, meant a lot to me, and I know it's meant a lot to the younger guys. Kyle, when does that start? When, when you officially become a senior in, in the fall, or did it start last year as a, as a junior? When do you guys take on the leadership role and make this your team? Uh, I think Nate and I, we both started taking leadership, you know, as soon as the first game was done, you know. I know as soon as summer hit, uh, we were both out there, you know, getting conditioning and uh, open fields and as often as we could get as many guys together. And I think that's part to do with, you know, that's why we're so successful right now. Nathan, what are some of the best memories you've had at Elida? Some more to come, hopefully. I mean, a long way left in the season, but now you're in your senior year. What are some of the times you'll remember from playing Elida soccer? Uh, definitely uh, my freshman year playing St. Mary's, getting really off to a good start against them. We went up, uh, I don't remember the exact score, but I think it might have been like 3-0. to zero. And uh, they came back and tied us, but it was a really good game and a really good experience for me as a freshman. Yeah, that must have been fun uh, getting yeah. in there as a freshman and now using that experience. Mm -hmm. Coach, what do you think the goals are for this year's team? Of course, when postseason rolls around, you want to keep winning as long as you can. Where, where do you see yourself in a couple couple months? Uh, <clears throat> more, like, more, like, more like a month, actually. Yeah, yeah we're not too far off. Um, hopefully, you know, our, one of our goals is to move on and get to regionals. Uh, but we, you know, we've been talking to the guys on a daily basis in our training sessions, and we're, we're taking one game at a time. We try to get better on the training field every single day. And, you know, if we keep doing what we know we're capable of doing, like Nate said, you know, we're getting better every day and we're doing some really good things. Uh, you know, hopefully we can get us a WBL championship and make a nice long tournament run. Kyle, what are practices like? Uh, we usually start out going, uh, we always get our warm up in and whatnot, but we do a lot of, we focus a lot on our finishing drills and whatnot. You know, personally as a goalkeeper, I always like to act, you know, it's, you know, extra keep mm -hmm. work I get in and I get better from that as well as you know, all of our forwards and midfielders are getting better, getting more shots on goal. Nathan, what do you like about playing for Coach Thomas? Uh, coach Thomas, he's, he's a really good coach. He really on the ball with everything. Uh, he lets us know what we're doing wrong. He helps us get better all the time. Uh, he really is supportive. He's not one of those coaches that really gets in your ear. That might not be like the greatest thing, but it helps us a lot. <laughs> I'm sure that you guys appreciate it sometimes. You know, you know what, if you do something wrong, you know what it is. You don't need oh, him right. to, yeah. you know, he'll tell you to do it right next time, but he doesn't yeah. need to bother you Definitely about helps it. us okay. a lot. Coach, what about for you, when you see a group of seniors like you have now come along and, mm -hmm. and really mature, because that's what a lot of guys do in high school. What does that mean to you as a coach? Well, you, you see a lot of these kids, you know, when they're freshmen and to watch them develop through the years, uh, it's, uh, I mean, it, it's special to me because I've been doing it now for so long. And, you know, I played at Elida, so I bleed Elida. And I want nothing but the best for my players. Um, you know, that's something that I try to instill in them as a coach is the pride. You know, we, we talk about having that name across our chest and, you know, the tradition at Elida. So it's, for me, it's very neat to watch the kids grow up and, and develop as players. And, you know, like Nate said, he started from a, an early age as a freshman. And it's been neat to watch him develop and, and become the player he is. Kyle, what does it mean for you, for you to play for Elida and be a Bulldog? I know everyone takes great pride at, around there in the soccer program especially. Yeah, our, our soccer program has a lot of history. You know, I know Coach, you know, he was growing up going through Elida. You know, he got uh, probably like four WBL championships or whatever it was. I mean, I made a couple playoff runs. But, you know, it's always nice to have our students are really supportive. And uh, I think we, it just kind of helps us play better too. Nathan, what about playing at home? You guys have one of the better, in my opinion, I think I could say that, better soccer facilities in the area. What does it mean to you to play your home games and, and have the whole crowd behind you and everything? That must be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, it's great. Uh, Jody Long takes care of our fields. They're, it's an amazing field to play on, one of the best. And uh, you can really ping the ball around a lot on the field. Uh, and plus our student body that comes out and supports us is really like benefits us to get into the game and get us hyped up for the game. Mm -hmm. Coach, we'll close with you. What's been the best moment of the season so far? Oh, boy. <clears throat> Being that it's so early. Yeah. Um, 
Probably one in our classic. Yeah. You know, that, uh, that's always a fun time of year. We start off our season with that and to have Bluffton and Fort Jennings who are two really good sides in the area traditionally. Uh, it was nice to, to hoist that trophy up at the end of the uh, Saturday night. So that, I'd probably say that was the top so far. Yeah, absolutely. Well deserved and hopefully just the beginning of the trophy hoisting yes. the Ulida boys soccer team will do this year. Good luck to you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We need to take a break here on the pitch. When we return, we'll be joined by a couple more Ulida Bulldogs. Welcome back to On the Pitch. We've got three more Elida seniors joining me now to talk Bulldog soccer. It's Matt Pollock on my left, senior forward in the middle, Dalton Reichert, senior center back, and on the end, Oliver Fessler, senior defender. Matt, let's start with you. Just talk to Coach and some of the other guys. Elida's off to a pretty good start at 4-1. and one. What have been the highlights of the season for you so far? Uh, well, as Coach said, I would say win in our classic because the past three years we've won that. Uh, I'd say getting up on defiance and even changing our formation was a highlight because I think it's worked out greater than what our other one was. What did you change it from? 4-4-2 uh, four, four, to a 4-3-3. Three, three. Cool. So you got that And now one. we've got three of our fastest players Great. up top too running Great. on the balls. Yeah, and it worked out well. 3 nothing win over defiance. Dalton, you mentioned that you guys, before we were just talking, you guys lost to Wapak last year yeah. and now twice, right? Or just once? Oh, uh, we lost to him in regular season. And then, then in the postseason? Yeah. So you got him coming up. They're your next game. Yeah. So what do you need to do to, to get a little revenge? Um, just keep our defense solid <laughs> and keep our formation up top the same. Keep possession of the ball and just stay strong in the back. Oliver, how has this senior group started leading and, and come together? It seems like you guys all get along really well. Must be pretty fun to play <coughs> with your best friends, right? Yeah, I mean, us as a group of seniors, we've played together since we were 12. We've played club all out throughout, and now it's just one last go around of us playing together. So we want to make the best of it. Absolutely. Matt, what about the Western Buckeye League? We talked about how competitive it is. What do you like about playing in a league where you really have to bring it every league game? Uh, well, our fr I don't know if it was probably my freshman or sophomore year, we played a team and we beat them like 14 to nothing. And in my opinion, that's not fun. The WBO is actually competitive. Your games aren't high scoring, and you actually have a challenge during your games, and it's not just too easy. Right. Yeah. No blowout. No, very few blowouts, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Dalton, what about for you? Who's your biggest rival? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Shawnee. You know, since my freshman year, that's always just been a big game that the seniors taught me when I was a freshman, and I just kind of let it develop and I, let me understand how big of a game it is. And, um, it felt great my uh, sophomore year beating them in the uh, playoffs. So it was great. It was yeah, great. That'll be a good memory. You always remember <laughs> the good wins, of oh, course, right? It was awesome. Oliver, what's an area you want to see the team improve upon between now and when you start getting into the postseason and, and the rest of league play, obviously? Uh, probably our finishing. If we could just actually keep the ball into the crossbar and actually uh, finish our chances that we get because we get a bunch of chances, but we just can't capitalize off them. So. Yeah, no, they, they, that's always, when I played soccer as well for in high school, that was always our team's biggest issue. And before we would leave practice, our coach would make us like basically finish, finish it all 50 yeah. times each. And yeah. then we started finishing, we would remember. Matt, what about for you? What do you, what do you want to improve upon maybe personally between now and the rest of the season? Uh, well, considering our last game, I think we had 16 shots on goal and probably 10 of those were mine and I only made one and it was with my head. Uh, I would say definitely finishing for sure. And Dalton, we'll close with you. Where do you see this team in six weeks? What are the, what are the final goals? WBL ring. Uh, that's, what I, that's what I'm hoping for. That's, that's my goal, okay. win a WBL championship. Well, best of luck to you guys. I think this is a team that could definitely do it. Thanks for coming out. Thank Before you. we go, we're going to close the way we always close on the pitch where I try to juggle and then we have a high school player beat me in a juggling contest. So we'll do that right now. I'll go first and I'll start. We'll move this table out of the way. Who's going to be juggling against me? We got a bulldog coming up. All right. No, it's oh, Kyle. Geez. Okay, great. All right, here we go. I'll go first. Oh yeah. Right, solid four. Solid four. Once it goes to the left foot, it's big trouble for me. All right. So if you could be four, I'll be 0-1 on the season. Oh, start on the ground. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, it's a 15 minute show, man. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job, good job, Kyle. And of course, Kyle beats me, that's no surprise. But thanks for <coughs> joining us all. Good luck to you guys thanks the rest of the season. Thank you. And that's gonna do it for the first edition of On the Pitch for the 2015-2016 <laughs> school year. We'll see you next week.